Hi guys, I'm in a small town called Villa de Neva in Colombia. It is four and a half hours away from Bogota. Today the program is we will visit the clay house and then a vineyard. In the afternoon, um, we can walk around the plaza. Remember to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also, tell me in the comment down below about which part of Colombia you would like to visit. If you would like to see the most updated photos and clips of my journey in Colombia, follow my Instagram. I have already arrived at the clay house called Casa de Dracota. It opens at 10 a.m. from Thursday to Monday. The admission is from 30,000 COP to 45,000 COP. It depends on weekdays or weekends or high season or low season. From the entrance, they told me this is the biggest pottery in the world. At first, come to visit the bathroom. <laughs> it's also a clay house. Today apparently is the weekend of Semana Santa, so I need to pay 45,000 COP. However, a tour is included. Gracias por venir. Él inicia a hacer la casa en el año 1999. ¿Cuánto creen que tarda el arquitecto en hacer toda la construcción? So no sé si alguien ha paleontológico en asociación con la Universidad Nacional. What's the name of the architect? Octavio Mendoza. Okay. Morales. Bogotano. He's from Bogotá. Mm -hmm. The original idea is to live inside the house. The architect wanted to build this house to live inside the house. This was his project for living. But? But as you see, Colombians, we are very curious people. Mm -hmm. When uh, he started to build the house, many people came to see the house without any permission. Mm -hmm. And what happened? He started to have like a price mm -hmm. for people. <laughs> With that idea, he thought that people won't come again. And what happened? It doesn't work. We are here. And in 2009, he opened the house for the visitors. Oh, below here is also has a couch. <laughs> It's pretty cool here. Welcome to my house. Let's have some lunch. So today we have fruits, alcohol, and an empty plate. Povecho. <laughs> oh, I just climbed up the stairs. And over oh, there is the dining room and kitchen. Did he ever live in the house? He, he used to live but like for seasons, not years, mm -hmm. not, not all the time. It has electricity, gas, water, water yes, everything. Everything. How many rooms are here? Because there's quite many. I lose count. Yeah, 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 like that, yes. As two for the three children of him, the principal, the library, and the kitchen, and three bathrooms. This is the master bathroom, I guess, because it's bigger. With chairs or benches, <laughs> a fireplace, wow, oh you can go out from here, I think here you can do some barbecue, <laughs> wow, it's nice here, I think this is the ceiling of one of the rooms, this thingy looks like a mushroom, I just left Casa Terracotta and come to this vineyard. Wow, beautiful. It takes 20 minutes to come here by taxi or by bus. Um, by bus, it's more economical, but it's every two hours. Souvenirs. Ah, gracias. <laughs> For the plan. Es un cocktail. Ah, gracias. Gracias. Es algo dulce. Gracias. This is my souvenir glass and welcome hotel. This place is amazing. Wow. Salut. This vineyard has scheduled tours. The price depends on which tour that you want to join. Today I signed up for a 90 minutes tour and I can try four types of wine. It costs 119,000 COP. Guys, take a look at the design. It makes it like a necklace. <laughs> Yes. Look at all this here. I hope I won't get drunk. <laughs> oh! Wow, qué bonito. 
This side is tapas in chocolate. Uy. Gracias. Con mucho gusto. Primero colores. Color. Este vino tiene unos colores muy oscuros. Uh -huh. Muy hacia los morados. ¿cierto? Uh -huh. Eso nos indica que es un vino joven. Uh -huh. Encontramos un vino tinto con colores más claros. Vamos a trabajarlo con el jamoncito de cerdo. Es menos seco. Es menos astringente. Muy bien. Más fácil de tomar. ¿Esto cuándo meses? No tiene paso por barril. Es un vino ah. joven. Este tiene oh, seis meses. Mm, ok. Las verdecitas. Eh, esto? Eh, ajá. Ah, ole. 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 ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso dentro? Tiene pimentón. So she recommend this one to go with the second red wine. The second one has a bit of cheese and onion, and this one with guacamole and olive to go with the first one. Esto el vino de casa. El vino de casa. Uh -huh. Un año. Un año de paso. Uh -huh. It's one year old. Is a house wine. Mm, mm. Different, very different. Very different. For much alcohol. No tiene mucho alcohol. Sí, pero el uh, olor. De pronto sí. Posiblemente necesitamos más oxigenación. Ah. Perfecto. <laughs> más oxigenación. Perfecto. Mm. Mm -hmm. Estoy abriendo con el tiempo y lo probamos. Es un vino que tiene características eh, de madera, sobre todo más alumado, al tostado, café. Mm -hmm. Esto es más uh, suave. Es más suave. Queso San Paulo. Con queso. queso. Uh -huh. Muy bien. The third wine will go with this tapa with um, ham and mushroom. Último. El último. Más uh, sabor. Uh, the fourth one is also a house wine. It's three years old. And it goes with this tapa with other type of ham and cheese or chocolate. Basically, the tour is very general, but you have chance to walk around the farm. And a lot of food and wine. This is chocolate with banana. But I don't know what's that. I bought some extra chocolate. This one is 58% cacao. It's absolutely beautiful here. If you have chance to visit Villa de Neva, definitely you need to come. Um, I need to go to the bus station to check out the bus ticket because tomorrow I'm going to Sun Hill but there's no direct bus to go there. In order to go to Sun Hill from Via the Neva, I need to go to Tuna first but I'm not able to find any bus on the page of Red Bus. Okay, from 5.45 in the morning every 15 minutes. By the way, if you want to go to the vineyard that I went today by bus, you can take buses that go to the direction of Santa Sofia. But check the schedule with the drivers here in advance first because everything here is very spontaneous. This company also goes to Tuna. There are quite many buses, so I should be fine tomorrow. Ooh, a juice bar. Vegetable shop. Oh, that's a supermarket. Mm. I came to this town basically it's because a lot of people recommend it. It is a tourist bus. It is not as colorful as Salento, but it is very colonial. Today is Saturday. It has more people, but still not too busy. I think if we walk closer to the plaza, <laughs> there are more people. So here is everybody. This is a very big plaza. Um, I think it's a trap for people who wear high heels. <laughs> this is the um, church. It looks very low key, very simple. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, there are bubbles. Let's take a look of the church. We are in the Holy Week right now. Maybe that's why there are some flower petals in front of the church. This plaza is so beautiful at this time of the day. Look at the sky. There are some bars and coffee shops on this side. And they also have some benches. So 
you can get a drink and do some people watching. <laughs> the architectures here look like those in Pasquale in Mexico because of the roof. I would like to find somewhere to eat, but some like restaurants here are mainly for tourists. I'm not able to find any local restaurant. My hotel is very close to the bus station, but it's like 10 minutes away from this plaza. I did it in purpose because I really want to have a good night's sleep. Last night I slept for 12 hours and somehow I skipped dinner. I feel like to have some pasta, so let's go. Okay, they have been watching me filming. <laughs> Chinese restaurant with sushi? No, thank you. Gracias. Look at the bread. Olive oil with black vinegar. I think it should be an Italian restaurant, but it also has some Colombian barbecue here. Ah, this is my pasta. This is a pasta fettuccine that is prepared to cook. Mm, gracias. We are going to advertise the fettuccine on this queso gigante that is called Grana Padana. Este queso pesa aproximadamente 40 a 43 kilogramos y tiene un tiempo de maduración de 24 a 36 meses. Este queso es de origen italiano y viene del norte de Italia. Es de la familia del parmesano y el parmigiano rillano. Mire su merced. Con mucho gusto que tenga una feliz noche. This is lemonade with coconut cream. It's a very common drink in Colombia. Basically, it tastes like pina colada. Oh, and by the way, I didn't notice that there's a fan here. <laughs> So, is he the guy? That plate of pasta was really rich. I couldn't finish everything. In Mia the neighbor, this kind of jeep is quite popular. I see quite many of them here, but I don't know how old they are. That's not much to do here. I think I'll go back to my hotel and sleep. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Perfect jam! <laughs> Thank you.